Good morning and welcome to My West Michigan. It is Tuesday, September 3rd, and you're looking at a live picture from our WZZM 13 Tower oh, Cam. Look at that big drop right there on the <laughs> yeah, window. <look> <laughs> <laughs> Getting yeah. ready for that rain that's coming our yeah, way. Yeah, but a nice long holiday weekend for a lot of folks. Yeah. yeah. A little it, bit of a hint that fall is not too far off, but it was it was good. You guys mm -hmm. are, are mourning summer because you're all in black? <laughs> yes. Is that what it is? I am Listen, ready I wore black on. all summer long. There's no <laughs> There's no explaining it. No, it's but, a year round color. Yeah, I didn't touch any colors this morning. So I was like, you know, it's September. Mm, I know. September I'm, I'm not letting go of summer, though. It's not officially <laughs> over till the 21st. I gotta, oh, gotta embrace right. it. Yeah. Right. You know, but that's some. How long you wear your white? Well, I don't know if I'm gonna wear it that long, but I am breaking that fashion rule today yes. because I thought, dang it, who said this anyways? And so I did a little research. And uh, yeah, there isn't really any one person or thing that uh, can claim fame to the don't wear white after Labor Day. What do, you, what do you think? You think you shouldn't wear it? Do you feel weird wearing white after Labor Day? Well, over there, the little one is wearing a pair of white shoes. I didn't yes. even know it was Which a is thing. Which is also a I what? Didn't, I didn't know that was the thing. Oh my gosh, she's so <laughs> precious. <laughs> I didn't know. No white uh, after, after la Labor Day. It's Easter or okay. Memorial Day, depending right. on if you want to wear your Easter shoes. All right. And then Labor Day is when you quit. Okay. On the Allegedly. White. Allegedly, yeah. Apparently, okay, okay. This from the research that I did. All started back in the 1890s, um, when the rich would go and they would summer. Yes. And you would need to wear light clothing, and a lot of times you'd have like the gingham and the linens that were white, and so they would, you know, be better suited for the warm temperatures. And so they would come back then to the city at Labor Day, and then give um, put away their whites and that's what they would do oh yeah because the Labor Day holiday has been around since like 1894 or something like that but then I was reading that the trend really took off in the 1950s mm. when women's magazines were making oh, it yeah. a rule yeah. for whatever reason though they didn't really say like why it was the rule just that it was the rule so there you go no mm. really rhyme or reason but people have been adhering to it since so about 200 years <laughs> I think like, of it. <laughs> I think of it as one of the classic rules of fashion. Although you ask anybody in fashion today and they'll say, no, yeah. it, it, it doesn't exist anymore. But I still adhere to it. Yeah. Mm. Like, I mean, I think I wore my white pants once this summer anyway, so <laughs> it's not going to be hard for me. But, but I uh, broke out the cable knit sweater last week. Right. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. She had candles, crock pot, everything. No. <laughs> you were moving ahead. I don't know. They say you can, I mean, they've got beautiful winter whites. We, you know, winter yeah. white is a big one. And then, yeah. you know, you can. I don't know. We'll see. Well, Hurricane Durian is beginning to inch northwestward after being stationary over the Bahamas, where its relentless winds have caused catastrophic damage and flooding. Yeah, the U.S. National Hurricane Center says the storm has stopped moving right around one mile per hour this morning, and its speed is expected to increase just slightly later in the day. Dorian's maximum sustained winds, re winds remain near 120 miles per hour, making it now a very still dangerous Category 3 hurricane. The storm is centered about 40 miles northeast of Freeport in the Bahamas. It's blamed for killing at least five people, wiping out thousands of homes, forcing many into makeshift shelters as an entire island also without power. The prime minister there says Dorian is unprecedented and extensive and that the country is being inundated with an extraordinary amount of flooding. People who rode out the storm described buzz saw like winds mm. that Ooh. splintered homes, flooded streets, left them terrified. Although Dorian still is not officially projected to make landfall in Florida, forecasters warn that only a small deviation, very small deviation of that track could make it barrel into Florida. Communities from South Florida to the Carolinas have already issued mandatory evacuations and they're preparing for the worst. <sighs> yeah, interesting how what a, a large swath yeah. of the country mm -hmm. has had to prepare as this storm is so unpredictable. It just sits there and churns. Yeah, and you talk about it being a one mile per right. hour movement. It sat over the Bahamas for 48 hours, know, just destroying the place. Uh, Disney owns a private island down in the Bahamas, mm. uh, K, uh, K Island, I think, or Castaway K. K. Okay. Anyway, they uh, evacuated all the guests, mm. but oh. they made the staff stay there. <gasps> really? Wow. They say that they have a shelter that can withstand a Category 5 hurricane. Oh. Okay. So those staff members were told to, to hunker down. Well, they took the others away. Oh, that's that's kind of scary. Yeah. Is it being put to the test for like the first time for this category? Well, I, don't five? I don't know. <laughs> oh my. But, and then Gatorland down in Florida, right. 
the the head of Gatorland was like, we're battening down the hatches here and we're securing all the animals on our property. If you if this storm passes, you find a gator in your pool, it ain't ours. Oh. He, says. Yeah. he says, these gators have been around for 75 million years. It ain't their first yep. rodeo with a nasty storm. They're going to be fine. He said they go low in the water and kind of get into the mud. Yeah, and so then, they're sectioned in kind and, of. And then they come up every once in a while to grab a breath and they stay down low and they just ride out the storm. Wow. Well, wasn't it last week we showed the gators climbing fences? Oh yes. my gosh, yes. And, and they like flopped yeah. over. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh. But a woman had, uh, I thought it was so sweet. There was a picture and I didn't get all the details, but she had sheltered over a hundred dogs in her house. Saw that. Oh yeah. Oh, and just, uh, I can't think about all the animals and I, it's just too much. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, at least 25 people are confirmed dead. Nine others still missing after a tragic boat fire early Monday off the California coast. This dive boat was carrying 39 Horrible. people, six crew members and 33 passengers. The passengers were asleep on the bottom of the deck I when the boat became engulfed in flames. They, this group was out on a recreational scuba diving trip. Five crew members were sleeping on that top deck, so they were able to jump off. They took a dinghy to safety. They actually took the dinghy up to a, another boat out in the water and were pounding on the boat yeah. and woke the people <sighs> up. Uh, two of the crew members had minor injuries, but the others took that dinghy back out and looked for survivors who might be in the water, found no one. Oh, and of course the search continues. Nine still missing, uh, many bodies recovered. Heartbreaking, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Well, the wife of actor and comedian Kevin Hart spoke with reporters on Monday after that horrific car accident that happened over the weekend. Did you see the pictures of it? Oh, yeah, when my you look heavens. at the wreckage, you, you yeah. wonder how anyone survived. I yeah. don't know, because you know, it was an old school muscle car. Right. So it mm. makes you wonder, you know, what it was about that car that made them able to survive. Yeah, Hart was a passenger in this vintage muscle car. It was being driven by a friend when it went out of control, plunged over an embankment. Hart reportedly received a major back injury in the crash. Uh, his friend also received a back injury. It's crazy. His wife, Aniko, says that he is awake. He's Ooh. going to be okay. They're not saying much more about exactly what happened. There was no alcohol involved, though. They do say that. Yeah, Ugh, that's good. That's and good. he has, Kevin Hart had his back surgery already. So yes. but we don't know the details of it. And with a car that old, you have to think it probably did not have any mm -hmm. type of airbags. Oh, yeah. Well, it's probably made out of steel. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we're probably just had the lap seatbelts, not the shoulder seatbelts. Yeah, mm. I mean, it was literally crunched. It was just. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, a Catholic school in Nashville, Tennessee has banned the Harry Potter series because a reverend at the school claims the books include both good and evil magic, as well as spells, which if read by a human can conjure evil spirits. Yeah, this is all according to the Tennessean. <laughs> it's the paper. They obtained an email from a pastor at St. Edward's Catholic School Parish who was that was sent to parents. Now in the email, he explains that he has consulted several exorcists in the U.S. And, and in Rome, and it was recommended that the school remove the books. These books present magic as both good and evil, which is not true, but in fact a clever deception, this reverend said, of the seven-part Harry Potter book series. The curses and spells used in the books are actual curses and spells, which when read by a human being, risk conjuring evil spirits into the presence of the person reading the text. That was a quote. Now the series was on the American, the entire Harry Potter series, by the way, on the list of the American Library Association's list of the most challenged books for at least three years, back from 2001 through three. That means that it was one of the most requested book series to be removed from school libraries. And yet those books are also credited with getting an entire generation of yep. children reading mm -hmm. books. Reading again. Mm -hmm. And um, more and more, you know, kids have distractions from picking up a book. That's right. It's a shame. Um, it's a shame. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. And how does he know that they are real spells? Does he? Did he do them himself? And so he <laughs> therefore has proof that they're real. <laughs> Abracadabra! <laughs> I know, if, if he's doing the spells and something's happening, that's more about him. Right. right? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see the proof of how he knows they're real. That's it. That's all I'm asking. Oh, man. Well, candy maker Archie McPhee has just announced their 2019 candy cane flavors. Last year they had some really good ones. Oh. This year, ooh, the stars of this year's lineup are the <laughs> ham flavored ones. They're called ham decanes. Ham ooh. decanes. Right now you can get a box of six <laughs> for only six dollars. We call that value. <laughs> ham flavored candy canes, mm. ladies and gentlemen. And while you're there, pick up boxes of the runner-up too. How about kale? 
candy canes Ugh. and pizza candy canes. In a press release, the company says when the holidays come around, that can only mean one thing, ham, as much ham as you can eat. We think ham flavor is going to be the pumpkin spice of Christmas. Mm. Eventually, you'll be able to get a ham latte uh. to get the ball rolling. We have created Hamdy Canes. Again, you'll get six ham flavor candy canes in a box illustrated with a personified ham with a cane. It will cure, cure what ails you. Get it? Cure. <laughs> yeah, got it, got it, Kirk. We can all make all the ham jokes, but we'll stick with the meat of the product. Each candy cane is pink and white stripes. There you go. <sighs> Last year, I think they came out with like pickled flavored. Yeah. They had a pickled flavored one. They had some really strange flavors last year. See, but pickles, you know I would, I you would go do for that the pickle. One? Yep, that salty, sweet maybe flavor. Because yeah. they came out with what the pickled slushy then after mm -hmm. that. But anyways, yeah. anything to get people to keep buying candy canes, yeah. right? They yes. were selling out though, and I don't know whether they were selling out because people were buying them for jokes. For jokes, or, probably. You know, people liked them. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Well, we've already discussed that pumpkin spice season is upon us, but our friends at Krispy Kreme are extending a very interesting offer. Yeah, the chain's classic pumpkin spice cake donut and pumpkin spice latte are available through Thanksgiving. But this week, and this week only, through September 8th, you can purchase the pumpkin spice original glazed donut or the new, what you're looking at, pumpkin Ooh. spice mm. original filled donut. And oh, by filled, cream I mean filled oh. with cream, uh, with cheesecake cream. Oh, wow. And here's what I love. The company is offering a pumpkin spice purchase protection plan this week. <laughs> what, that? what does that mean? Okay, so if you've been disappointed by any pumpkin spice product on the market, anything you've bought and you, and it tastes like rubbish or whatever, <laughs> You can trade it in for a Krispy Kreme freebie. Does it have to be the pumpkin spice or could I take my ham flavored candy cane <laughs> and get a pumpkin spice? Instead? No, let's follow the rules okay. here. All right. I'm gonna let you wear white after Labor Day, okay. but I'm not gonna let you cheat on the pumpkin spice trade program. Oh I can't trade gosh. my ham candy cane in for pumpkin no. spice. Mm. <laughs> so here is the latest video trending on Twitter this week. An actor put on a spacesuit and created an art installation of him moonwalking on potholes in India. Yes. Say what? No. Look at. Okay. So it's amazing. We. It, it's a place in India, but the name is just so long you can't even get it. But. It is hilarious because it actually made the his local newspaper and it's on the front page and it says wow. his name and it says moonwalking the potholes. But it, he did this to kind of raise awareness because obviously you can see these potholes are insane. And I think that we can relate in some ways. But in <laughs> Michigan because of our pothole. Well, yeah. yeah. But, but I don't get crazy. how he's moonwalking. So, so in this he's angle, this is what he released. This is what went viral on Twitter because you can't see all the cars yet but he's moving very slowly and it looks like there's kind of like uh, holes in the background that replicate the moon, but. Oh, it, see, when I think of moonwalking, I think of like Michael, Jackson. Michael Jackson's moonwalk, yes. yeah. That's, oh. that's what I thought he was But doing. yeah, but he was actually trying to make it look like he was walking on the moon. But it has gone viral and everybody that is from his town is just praising him because they think it's hilarious and a great way to bring awareness to what's going on. So, <laughs> it's awesome. Well, there you go.